Alrighty, we got a gunner. Good deal. Let's see if my head is back in the game after that last fight. I'm worried because as a ranger, he is probably also quite in the game. I don't know what he was doing there. He was waiting for me to screw up. Which either means he doesn't know me or he knows me quite well. Go ahead and get that little bit of damage there on the end. Oh. This guy is going for style points right now. It's like he knows he's on video. So we'll just stand next to him so that doesn't actually hurt me. Knock him out of that. Oh. Spriggan, why do you hate me? Thanks, Bamboo. Okay, let's see what this guy's got. I'm almost kind of curious. I didn't mean to screw up there. I'm not going to play it off like I did, but... Huh. That is like the shortest ranger combo I've ever been in. <laughs> so, okay, that was a weird match. For some reason, I feel we were equally bad. <laughs> so, this is kind of fun. <laughs> it's always fun to play against the best rangers. You've seen me bitch in the past. So, that <laughs> that was fun, even if it was ridiculous. Alright, another match. I have a feeling that... <laughs> Three, two. These are Ventaras, and they will go down with the ship. It's weird. This guy has all the makings of somebody who really does know what they're doing. I wonder if he just hasn't played in a while. He does all, like, the real basic stuff incredibly well. But makes the silliest mistakes and has short combos. It's very unusual. I'm just gonna throw out some moves, see if I can catch him. The weakness of rangers against launchers is, in fact, windmill. Um, it is a terrible move against us. And what do we got here? 30,000 damage. Yeah, leather. I love me some leather. Love me some leather. It, uh, <laughs> it does so much damage when it crits. So, uh... On good days, I get called all kinds of names for long-range moves because they deal too much damage. Ooh, the, I don't know if he canceled my eagle eye. Nope, I see it on the bar down there. Managed to counter him, but that shouldn't have been a counter. Oh, sliding under like steep slides and cannonballs is literally my favorite thing to do. This guy's got a really good gun guard. He's just on the ball. I tried a ranger and I couldn't get gun guard down to save my life. See, there you go. Managed to sneak in. I failed to escape, though, uh, recovered with a rose, so. Thought he was gonna go down, not up. So I'm expecting him to try to slide in or something. He tried to windmill my super armor. So just go ahead and finish this map. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> he tried to quick counter it. Oh! He even dodged it. See, Spriggan is worthless. I will never say otherwise. This game will end with me shaming Spriggan to the to the very last. Shame on you, Spriggan. You should have caught him. But that was a good match. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, guys. Or am I fighting here? Oop, good thing I dodged. Let's go ahead and fire that. Gatling beats grenade. Beats revolver. Oh, well, that should have probably been a slide, but he might have still caught me. When you slide, your hitbox becomes enormous. That was weird. Oh, I think he... Ah, oh, he got really lucky. I did a Maryland Rose, but the end of his windmill hit me at the same time he did the Rising, which broke the Super Armor. That does happen. And when it does, it is tons of damage. And unfortunately for this guy, my Extruder's off cooldown, and he's pretty tough, so I'm not going to waste it. Any kind of style. He's about to wild shot me, I believe. Or he just wild shot it before. He doesn't have rain. I'm gonna let him come in here and try to do his thing. I'm not sure what's going on. But there it is, folks. The steep slide into. And that hit him anyway. So sad when that happens. And this might be it. This is a very close match. Oh, but he switched to muskets to do his long range. That's a shame. That might have been close if he kept both revolvers. Uh, I approve of the long range rising, but when he had me on the ground, he couldn't do the combo he needed to do with death by revolver. Which might have been up, actually. I wasn't paying attention to his sparklies. Rangers with red sparklies have a chance to do 5k on every single shot. Uh, they start critting you with death by revolver, and you will feel it. 5k on plate is nothing to sneeze at. That's what, uh, I think that's what that ghost slash did from that Asura. It didn't explode like I wanted it to. We are experiencing some lag, folks. That's your captain speaking. Just have to deal with it. It's okay, it looks like he is also dealing with it. Unfortunately, I have a feeling he has the advantage in lag. Because his combos are a little easier to blind shot. I don't know how he knocked me down. Maybe I uh, attacked too soon and the counter knocked me down. Again, he countered my counter. So this guy is pretty darn good. Rank 8. Rank 8. Good job. Disgusting. And that'll be it. <laughs> Good games. I believe that's it. Not entirely sure. I don't think I have another round after that. So we'll see if there's a rematch. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next fight. <laughs> no, we have a rematch. Okay. We'll go ahead and rematch again. See if this guy wants to rematch the Ventara. Oh, and whoever took Ventara in Path of Exile, you suck! That's all I'm gonna say about that. That would have been a fun name. Alright, managed to outmaneuver this guy. <laughs> Going to claim complete responsibility for that accident. There we go, that was the maximum damage combo that I think I have with Nuke. That uh, Rose may not look like it had worked, but it did. He was about to come in and do his combo. And this should finish him, I believe, unless it misses. Nope. <laughs> funny. Oh, come on. That was funny, guy.
good games, good games, but that was funny. I love catching people in jumps. <laughs> There's nothing that makes people rage more, though. All right, I'll see you guys in the next fight. And we're back. Ooh, a launcher. Oh, this will be a fun match. I'm going to get my butt handed to me because I'm so bad at fighting launchers. But let's get a little bit of a lead before I lose. No, I'm not necessarily going to lose, especially since it doesn't feel like this guy has his armor. I don't know if he's a cancel launcher or if I'm just imagining things or what, but he doesn't feel like he has armor. In fact, this might even kill him, he has so little armor. Good thing I didn't waste my steeps, or my barbecue right there, because I did push that button for some reason. And that'll be it. End of the match. That was fast. Um, for that, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say that he doesn't have armor on. Because that was uh, not what normally happens. You've seen how beefy I am. When I fight against somebody uh, in heavy armor... Ah. Gotcha. Yeah, so he's a leather launcher. I figured. He also must not have the HP nodes that you can get. I, I, again, game's closing soon, so I know it's a little late, but I highly recommend that. If you're going to do anything, you need to get those HP ups because it's multiplicative in the arena, and not having much HP is how this kind of stuff ends up happening. what's going on there, some kind of weird lag, but that's how you juggle in lag as a launcher. So, holy lag Batman. Okay, a little not really known thing there, what just happened to him was a standing nuke. If you get someone in a standing nuke, they um, they actually reset completely. Uh, if, so if you catch someone in a, in a standing nuke like that, try to catch them after the nuke hits you'll fall as they're falling, and uh, you will get to do an entire combo to them, so that is an opening for the extruder combo from the very beginning. So you can catch them in a barbecue and get them right up into uh, a full Three, extruder two, combo. One, fight. I think he's using the other gun, too. Yeah, look at... My gun is the strong one, so... He's using a slower gun. I don't know what he... Oh, I think I... Oh, that was me trying to... Rising shot, and it did count, so... I need to keep that in mind. Nice. This guy's gonna do a little juggling. We'll see how much damage it actually does. Nice, finally using his grenades. Uh, I feel quite outmatched by male launchers in PvP because they can do it on the ground. Like, for me, that's where it would have ended. Oh, nice, he knew I was going to counter his counter. And so he countered my counter, countering his counter. But this may be it. I'm going to put him in a nuke and then throw him into the corner with an extruder. That's pretty much unavoidable. Is camping the quick rebound. If you know for a fact they're going to use Quick Rebound, uh, I was very slow there, so I can't take credit for it, but uh, if you know they're going to miss the Quick Rebound, go ahead and camp them with an Extruder. Uh, I've even gotten his all with that, and it's so funny to hear him on Skype when I do it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, good match. I will see you guys at the next one. Oop, I forgot to start recording. All right, you haven't missed much. It's a Berserker on the smallest level in the game, so I'm not optimistic, to say the least. But we'll do that, into that, into that, into that. Oh, and it was a reset because I juggled him so much. Okay, maybe I should juggle a little bit more. If that increases the chance of a reset. Oh my god, Berserkers. I remember when you were the cheapest thing in the game. Oh, thems were good days. Take that. Nope, you got it. You jerk. 
have an extruder in the corner. Alright, trapped him. This will get a laser off and cool down my cooldowns a little. He's not being aggressive. This is bad. He's planning something. He's plotting. Plotting my eventual demise. Did he switch to a katana? Or is that the Halloween? Maybe he was always using a katana and I'm just blind. And that might be it for all my showboating. I'm finished. Good job, Berserkers. Keep being X spam. <laughs> no, this guy's pretty good. Good combos. Plus, I didn't feel completely unmatched. So, uh, felt like it was a good fight. Let's do it again. Please give me a bigger level. Alright. Hmm. He's saying dead game for reals. I don't know what that means. I'll catch him in that. Now my rising shot is down, so I gotta use the nuke here. Keep him down. And I did not wait long enough with my rebound. He knew I was gonna try to counter. And that I should have slid into. So that was my mistake. Ignore my phone in the background there. Alright, just some uh, desperate spamming on my part there. Oh man, please be on cooldown. Alright, rising shot was off cooldown, so I get my extruder. Alright, this is my one chance to even up the fight here. Hopefully he walks into that. He did not. And I slid into a perfectly executed Bloodlust. Wait, no, Bloodlust is the grab. What the hell is that one called? Rage Aura or something? I don't know. Please finish him. I want a victory. Yay! I beat a Berserker! That's like the boss level. <laughs> boss level over. Ventara wins the game. Alright, so we'll do one more against this Berserker. Give him a chance to redeem himself by horribly murdering me. Maybe he's some kind of like tournament junkie and he just likes yelling dead round. I don't know what happened there. We like traded blows, but we didn't. So, a little bit of confusion why he hasn't used Frenzy yet, maybe to keep his defense up. We'll go with that. Probably to keep his defense up against me. As you can see, he's in full heavy right now. There it goes. Now he's done. Done playing games. And I hit the wall. Sushi. Shoddy construction on your bar. I almost fell down the stairs. And I blame you. I'm gonna miss Sushi. I'm gonna miss everyone. So nice. So there we go. Berserker being a Berserker, nearly perfecting a uh, launcher after getting hit by a nuke combo. I think I hit him with a nuke combo. Maybe it was an extruder combo. Who knows? Berserkers have too much health. See you next fight. Alright, back once again against the same Berserker, actually. Oh good, I wasted my quick rebound. See, it's early in the fight. Yeah, we are experiencing a little bit of lag here. <laughs> Let's see if he calls dead round again. <laughs> so, you know, you only get one of those. Yeah, 
that, I should have done my full slide. I accidentally did this, the small slide, which I claim is the most powerful move in the game that I don't know how to do. So I guess there is the one case of it not working out for me. I'm glad I only used my rose there. I was actually testing the waters. Difficult opponent, so I don't want to screw that up. Now, laser is strong enough that I can waste it like that and still do some serious damage. <laughs> that was a Hail Mary on his part. And... Let's see if I can get him. I got him. Nope. I decided to use myself as bait there. He took it. And let's go ahead and finish this fight. Alright. Berserker down! Berserker down! You can have that fairy as compensation. Nope. I have no idea why I just stopped recording for no reason, but I'm back again. Yep, so uh, you can have that fairy as compensation. <laughs> I can even have it. I don't even care. It's his. And we're going for rematch. Rematch, rematch. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. My long promised, long awaited, uh, hopefully not too late. I hope you guys still love me. Uh, fair arena. me looking like a pro there. I do it occasionally, I do it occasionally. It's more demoralizing than damaging though. You can see I didn't really do a lot of damage in this case. And I did not rose at the exact right moment. Let's try something. Lies and slander. I don't think that hit him. I'll have to check the instant replay. But uh... The Zol promised me that that would work. No, I don't think it was the Zol. I think it was like, uh, Fire Commando or... I don't remember who now. Oh, I should have done a reversal there instead of just standing up. And I think I'm close enough to use the nuke. Yes. Alright, reverse berserkering. You can look at my health, I'm almost at full. So I reverse berserkered him. Uh, it doesn't happen often. You guys will not see that level of skill from me again. Uh, probably ever. Because uh, the game ending. I keep saying that. It's so sad. It's such a downer. I should stop saying that. Because the game will go on forever, and I will always do better. And you know it. That's right. Ventar is here forever. But, uh, seriously. That was actually a pretty good match on my part. Uh, one thing I do like about this level is that the trash cans allow you to shoot really short-range cannonballs, which throw a lot of people off, because cannonball usually goes past them. Like that. That was a good one on his part. If my quick rebound is not ready, which I don't think it is, he's going to get me in a good old combo. Good old-fashioned combo here. He decided the trash cans deserve that. That's fine. I thought I hit him and I hit a trash can. Dang it. Alright, now the reverse reverse berserker. It looks like he's going to finish me with little to nothing done on my part to prevent it. <laughs> At least he'll have a few scars to uh, to show his friends from fighting me here. That was almost the end of the fight. Yep, there he goes. It's radioactive now. No children for you. So good match on his part. Good match. Go ahead and throw a nice at him. It's always good to, to compliment your opponent, even if you didn't really have fun. Because... You're both having a good time regardless. So I'll see you guys in the next match. And some friendly banter there. See? So you gotta... You gotta, you gotta be a good sport. Alright guys, see you in the next match. Alright, the next match is against our favorite Rageaholic, good-natured berserker Eindrich, who jumped right into my rising shot dead game. Once again, we are apparently in tournament mode, because it is a dead game. So he's just practicing all of his moves, just wants to get all of them out there, uh, preferably with hitting me, and getting all the points again. Alright, that counts. He 
even though we all know this is a dead game. That's just the weirdest thing to say at the beginning of a match. The game has not even started. There's cannonball form. Now these little pokes that I keep doing are all about one thing, demoralizing your opponent. Because then he makes a real mistake. And it's over. Because they obviously aren't for damage. Because <laughs> I haven't done much of it yet. I'm gonna have to get on my game here. That'll do. Oh no. That could be it. If he presses all the right buttons here. Because my rebound was on cooldown. And then I tried to get out of the corner and failed. I should have uh, nuked him when I was a little bit lower. Or defensive nuked and extruded. One or the other would have been preferable. The nuke would have been survived if he just went in for the kill. But uh, most people run when you put down the nuke. And uh, giving me the room for the extruder would have given me a chance. So we have another match coming up here. Again, Berserkers are the hard ones. They are the final boss. And got to keep my rising shot. Or whatever the hell I was going to do there. I, f I forget what I normally do. Oh, my barbecue cancel. So I got to keep my barbecue cancel. Phone ringing again. I wonder if it's important. I will find out soon. I think I got him against the wall. That's usually the only way you can do that much damage with the Gatling. And I'll just go ahead and use Gatling again because I'm a jerk. Mistake on my part. I don't know whether that really worked. Um, if he had a rebound up, so I couldn't tell. Uh, don't, don't fall into that trap. Ooh, that was a nice one. That trap right there was almost using my extruder. Oh shit! And <laughs> I realized what I did there way too soon. It looked like a pro. I was uh, waiting for him to get up so that I could counter him. And he went right into it to try to hit me there. But I don't blame him. The, um, the after image on the nuke is actually really hard to dodge. Now he's got to know that my extruder is on cooldown and waiting to get him. His next mistake. So we'll see what he can do about it. And this is it. You called it. I'll just go ahead and use both on him. Maybe his quick rebound's gone. Nope. The end. Oh, it didn't kill him. Nice. He got me in that. Oh, and it's over. Nicely done. Oh man. <laughs> Pins and needles on that one. I can't believe I keep running into that rage. First, whatever. Ah, and I can't remember the names of moves. This is what happens when you leave a game and go do other games for a while. So alright, um, this is actually going to be my last match because I gotta sign off for a little bit. But uh, very last match, uh, probably of DFO. So I'll try to make it a good one. Try not to lose without fighting back here. He's uh, keeping his speed down and his defense up. I would say that's a good move right now because I am able to deal a ridiculous amount of damage. Get him. And this will put him in the corner with... No, not close enough. I won't waste it. You can see that was a nuke reset, I believe. And he's using his skill. Grab this. Hopefully not die for it. Needed that fairy, but... Uh, I 
again, nothing you can really do about that. So we're going to throw out a kill move here. Oh my gosh. Berserkers and their HP, man. I think he used, uh, if he didn't use Die Hard, I just completely underestimated how much health he had left. Which is a lot. Alright, down to the wire. Don't screw up. Oh. <laughs> Alright, a great finish, guys. That was awesome. Oh, that was a great finish. All right, well, I certainly enjoyed that <laughs> clutch victory with the air shot. And I am out of here. So a good final victory. So we'll go ahead and go back to the, the lobby here. I want to say my fond farewells here. So DFO, uh, here we are, right back where we started with uh, Sierra. <laughs> a great game I gotta say um, I really enjoyed it I hope you guys did too looking at the clock here I feel like this is probably gonna be an hour to an hour and maybe 10 minutes uh, I didn't really look at the clock when I started so I'm not entirely sure how long this is all gonna go on but uh, that might make it a two-parter so if this is part two hey thanks for sticking around through two videos uh, you guys are awesome uh, thank you to everyone who joined this channel to watch DFO that was its original purpose but uh, from here on out um, well no that's not true okay here's another special I'm gonna do for you guys I mentioned his all you'll get to see me in the uh, twitch TV tournaments if you hunt those down I actually did participate in both the tournaments I co-hosted uh, I did I won't say how I did you guys can find out but you can probably guess it was uh, back before I really had a good grasp on all my moves so I did not take the grand prize trophy <laughs> and uh, you'll just have to see what the other details on that fight were uh, what I do have is about I want to say it's about 40 minutes worth of footage from when I first rejoined uh, during fair arena now keep in mind uh, none of these videos have me with my practice none of these videos have me with my quick slide uh, I mean my slide into the barbecue um, I didn't know the the combo that keeps them in the nuke so there was a lot of damage I wasn't doing and I was uh, still kind of learning my moves he got to me like in I don't know probably the second day I was practicing and uh, I then went on to practice against him fire commando is there a guy named Jana apparently really famous and everybody yells at me for not knowing who he is um, great guy uh, he is a really good male launcher uh, but yeah uh, I played with some of the best and uh, I feel like it's really improved my game uh, thank you elder for letting me into SRK I know I didn't actually get into the SRK guild uh, sorry I'd never joined to, to say hello I stuck around in the PvP one that was gonna be the overfill or overflow for PvP once uh, SRK got filled back up so I really enjoyed it thank you for letting me stick around even though my attendance was horrible and uh, I'll see you guys all in other games. Um, if you, you know, if, if you know me from back in the day here, feel free to, you know, message me in some other game if you see me. I am always Chaos FX in everything I play. Uh, my characters vary, so it's not going to be the best way to get a hold of me. And sometimes I have to put numbers because there are other people who use the name Chaos FX. So it's the best way to get a hold of me is one through my YouTube channel, which is what you're watching right now. Feel free to send me a message. I try to respond to everyone. Uh, the other one is to, you'll have much better luck contacting me on Steam. I'm just accepting friend requests right now just so that I can uh, get to know some of my fans. And uh, I use that as my main IM when I'm at home and on a Steam game. Uh, there's a few games that I don't use it for, such as Path of Exile and a couple others. So, and I'm not always playing games, so you, you might not actually catch me on Steam, but I will eventually get to you if you contact me on Steam. So that's probably the best way to keep in touch uh, to everybody who, uh, who's who been awesome. Um, I know I haven't seen you in a while, but Reyna, if you're out there, fun stuff, good times. Shugs, as always. The uh, Asura launcher combo will be the most powerful PvE ever. Uh, so many good times were had with that. Uh, remember the good times and the horrible, horrible bone dragons that throw swords with chains on them. 
All right, guys, I guess that's it for this video. Um, my next videos will be video videos. I don't know. We'll see how much I split it up based on how long I want to wait for YouTube to upload. Uh, will be either all the matches or just the good matches from when I first started Fair Arena. So this is actually going to be the latest video in DFO. I don't plan to get on and do another one since I've, I've gone out of my way to make such a, a long farewell video. So I'll go ahead and post this one first, and then I'll post the other Fair Arena ones as kind of bonus video. And then I'll be shutting down DFO on my channel, guys. Uh, next up, for like the majority of everything, everywhere, uh, I will have some StarCraft videos. I'm going to start with StarCraft 2 Wings of Liberty, uh, just because I have some awesome games saved. Oh, let me talk to this guy in a minute. Um, but I have some awesome games saved. And I uh, just want to go through all those first, and then I'm going to buy Heart, Heart of the Swarm soon. Um, you know, Path of Exile knocked me off my schedule, so I completely forgot it was even released. Uh, so I'll be getting Heart of the Swarm, might do some single player videos, but maybe not. I'll probably just do those on my own. It's, it's a lot of pressure to be on camera. And uh, then I'll go ahead and uh, maybe do some multiplayer in that, because I really wanted to get back into the StarCraft multiplayer just a little bit. And I mean, I don't play that often. I probably played a grand total of like 45 games in StarCraft 2, but I enjoyed all of them, and I feel like I learned a lot. So I'll be sharing that with you for amusement, for uh, hints, for tips and tricks, and all that good stuff. So welcome to all my new people. Thank you to all my old people, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Later.